Hi guys, um, I think that's the first time talking to you from Cyprus. Yay! Yeah, I'm in Cyprus. I came for you know a bit of holidays. I know it's not the perfect time for holidays because it's raining and it's cold, but I just wanted to come see my uh, dad, mom, siblings, and you know just to rest for a bit, isn't it? they can take care of my of iris for a bit know that but that doesn't mean we are behind business you know i came to this uh, fabric store called george uh, we used to come we, we used to come with my mom when we were when we were little so i thought okay let me go let's see what's in there and it seriously it's like a fabric paradise seriously so I got this I'll show you what I got I got this and this these are linen blend fabrics so it's um, linen with viscose and I thought it would be perfect for you know summer springtime because spring summer are coming and then I saw these ones and I thought, wow, that, these are perfect for Valentine's Day. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make some uh, now because I'm on holidays. But I will try and go to my grandma's house and try and make some of these. And then I've got this one, which is so cute. It's like B. It's very cute. It's quite popular as well. I saw this design before. A few times, I think my camera is blurry. So yeah, I uh, I just these are so beautiful, you know. A bit pricey, but um, yeah, I mean this is linen blend, so you can expect the price. But you know, it's good for summer. So yeah, I'm gonna be making this for summer, and and yeah, these are cotton yeah i don't buy i try not to buy polyester fabrics because uh i just like you know i like quality stuff breathable like cotton and all that you know and um yeah guys i don't know what to do with my hair i hate my hair i don't know what kind of shape they have i don't know how to um I don't know how to style my hair. I have a, I have headbands, but even still, I don't know how to style them. So I just, you know, wear my scrunchie. I just wear them up, and that's it. But anyway, um, right now I want to take you to the best place to get coffee. Right here in Cyprus, we know what's up when it comes to coffee. So the best place for coffee is Zorba's Bakery. You know, it's like a, we've got so many bakeries here because we love our fresh pastries and bread and all that. They also sell coffee, which is better than, for me personally, it's better than Costa's and Starbucks. That's the only ones we have in UK and like that, like the popular ones. But Zorba's is even cheaper as well. It's better because you have a wide selection of coffee you've got colombian coffee you've got brazilian and they ask you all 
you, you know you have all kind of syrups you, you know you have or would you like the premium one which the premium is the one that you know it's not too bitter it's not too strong it's not too you know um, low density so yeah we know what's up here you know and it's not that expensive like it's three euros the ones I usually get like a, for a cappuccino large cappuccino I think it's 350 or something euros which is about two pound I don't know 60 let's say in the UK um, in the UK you don't find this kind of coffee trust me you know um, so yeah let's let's go there and um, next I want to talk about is how to navigate around you know how to go to the store to the restaurants when you come here to Cyprus because um, they want you to be vaccinated if you want to go and sit in restaurants and stuff you have to be vaccinated for that and um, but I mean you know to go to bakery to the store and all that you don't have to be vaccinated but you have to have a safe pass which is proof that you either had a test or either you are vaccinated and I'm gonna show you in a bit how to you know deal with that because when I came and I went to Zorpas you know the bakery and they would not let me in because they scanned I, I mean I had my vaccination certificate but for some reason they could not scan it or something it wasn't going through and I was so upset because they said oh we can't let you in if the police come oh what we, I, I was so frustrated you know I'm like just to get a bread like you know from the bakery and I have to like what nonsense is that but what can you do there you go if you want to come visit Cyprus that's what you have to do. That's a perfect cappuccino from Zorbaz. This is the brand Coffee Berry, that's how it's called. And that's the premium, so it's not too bitter and it's not too, you know, low density coffee. It's just perfect, you know. So, yeah, if you're coming from the UK and you don't know. How the hell to um first of all what is a safe pass basically a safe pass is um is what you use to enter anywhere in cyprus like to go to the bakery to go to the store and all that you need to have a safe pass and they scan it from their whatever device phone so um if it's like on paper they want in some places it won't let you in you know so it's better if you have it on your phone so basically you have the NHS app right so I'll show you quick so if you have the NHS app what you do is so on your phone I'm just logging in so you come here NHS COVID pass and then it's loading 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 and then I pressed travel and then um, you know it shows your details here whatever so yeah the easiest way is to download it as PDF you know and open the document but it wasn't working for me so what I did I think if you show that then you're good to go uh, uh, so I will normally um, so I will normally show uh, the the last one so the booster that I had I will normally show that and the easiest way as well if you have an iPhone you add it onto your Apple wallet so you just press here and it will add it add and then it will add it I've already added it so I don't need to do that so when you go to any store or anything like that you just go to your wallet and then um, your COVID pass there you know ready to show and for them to scan it so yeah that's what you do and in some places they will even ask you for your ID so if you have any form of ID driving license passport uh, if you are European your ID and all that so so yeah that's pretty much it um, if you come from the UK that's the process you know to enter anywhere 
you need a safe pass and you can't go to I don't know if it's no restaurants or I think it's all restaurants and places that you can sit down and eat um, yeah you can't enter without being vaccinated with that uh, very discriminative but let's not get into that our point the point of you know the point is to um, so I just wanted to share with you how to have access to uh, your safe pass you know so you can enter to any place um, you want with your you know safe pass and yeah that's the easiest way to do it if you come from the UK when I came and I was trying to uh, find a way to because um, for the people that live here Cypriots um, they will download the app and they will you know scan their QR code and all that there is an app for it you know and that's where they save it but if you come from the UK from the NHS app that's the best way and that's the only way I think that you can uh, show your safe pass so yeah because I was struggling when I first came to Zopas and they would not let me in I was so frustrated and I was looking for videos like you know how to enter you know how to get a safe pass if you come from the UK and I could not find any videos that's why I wanted to you know film that video so I can let you know how to enter into any place with a safe pass in Cyprus so yeah I hope this is helpful and um, I'll see you in a bit I'm going home I might stop the video here and I might film another video so yeah let's just say um, yeah I'll see you in the next one for now don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and I'll see you very soon bye <laughs> I'm bro. I'm She does have a lot of doors. Surprise! <laughs> 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 Σα κοροϊδέψαμε. Συγγνώμη, ήταν εκπληξή. Αγιώ σας ήταν εκπληξή.